Hey there, Wisconsin. This is Gabe from Is It Scary Wisconsin, and jo tonight I am joined with my best friend Justin, and just him because it's just he and I, and we're the only ones that matter on this channel. Yeah, it's the most Ten true thing you've said all day. <laughs> tonight we will be covering a haunted house that is very special to us. That reason being is because Green Bay Fear is the first haunt Justin and I went to when we first initially became good friends. Uh, we were always bitchy beforehand. We were always scared of haunted houses, but we finally grew a pair of balls and Green Bay Fear popped that cherry for us. And tonight we'll be covering that. <laughs> oh, it got weird in line tonight. We may as well just keep it going. We yeah. really did get a little weird. Yeah. So remember guys, if you like, we got my uh, traditional strawberry purple dr strawberry drink, by the way, go ahead. Yeah, I, I love that. If you, if you guys, uh, you know, if you guys like the content, make sure you guys are subscribed, like these videos, comment down below. Let us know what you think about the haunts that we review. And if you really enjoy is this scary Wisconsin, we have merch links down below in the description. If Gage actually remembers to put them in, be sure to check out the merch. The caustic purple is absolutely banging. So Gage, we went to Green Brother, Bay. I want you to start tonight. Went to Green Bay Fear on September 29th. Got there at like 8.30. Went through on Fast Pass. Waved to all mm -hmm. the peasants and as we walked in front of them. <laughs> Just one person. Um, you know, I waited for four hours in line. And these Fast Pass motherfuckers kept coming in front of me. Ah! Have fun paying $140 for a haunt just to watch other people go in front of you. And I'm those other Wah. people. That is us. So, let's talk about it. Um, before I get into my breakdown and just talk about the scores a little bit, I want to say tonight's show was good. It was good. It wasn't average. It wasn't below average. It was good. It was a nice haunted house show. Um, and I enjoyed that. Uh, it's exactly what I expected when we went through. And I was pleasantly surprised in a few areas. So in the senior department, I gave them a I gave them a 19. They have some nice new touches, but that house still needs some work at the front. I feel like they're still trying to make the resurrection room work. They're still trying to make that initial room with the furniture work. And having somebody that I see before they scream at me or shout at me, uh, it's hard to make that scary, right? Unless you're already really jumpy, which I'm kind of past that phase. Mm -hmm. That being said, it is what it is. Scenery at Green Bay Fair does continue to improve. I really like the big clown mouth thing they have that you go through now as you lead into the um, fun house. I like the prop work they did outside of the Twisted Trail. And I like some of the work that they did do in the later half, later portion of the house. Scenery, I give them a 19. Sounds, I also give them a 19. Pretty much standard fare here. You can hear some actors shouting, scaring, people getting scared. You hear some quiet music in the background. I do have an asterisk for sound, something that I want to talk about. The atmosphere, I so when I break this down, sound is volume, theme, actor, sounds, atmosphere, and music. Atmosphere, I give a 5 out of 5. Uh, there is something about going to Green Bay Fear. I don't know what it is, but it is special. And I've been texting you since like 6 o'clock, 5.30, 6 o'clock tonight. Bro, I'm effing hyped. Bro, I can't effing wait to go. I'm 36 years old, by the way. I'm a grown man. I do feel pretty old going through there seeing unless, all these kids. Like, unless they do <laughs> anything short, short of knocking me out and dragging me through a field with a bag over my head, it's not going to scare me. 
seriously scare me. You'll get a jump scare, but it's not going to seriously scare me, right? There is an atmosphere going into Green Bay Fear with my best friend. The haunt that kind of started it all for us. There's an atmosphere about that. And it's still there. There's that feeling. And it's a really special feeling. And I don't know how Green Bay Fear does it. Because none of the other haunts we go to capture that same magic. I don't know if it's because we were going there for three or four years before we started reviewing haunts. I don't know what it is. But Scare USA can't do it. Revenge can't do it. Camp Tapawingo can't do it. Terror on the Fox can't do it. It's not trashing any of those guys. But there is a feeling I get when we go to Green Bay Fear together. And I don't know what it is. Does it almost feel like home to you? It, I get that it, vibe. It does, even though mm -hmm. it isn't. Right? Exactly. It's our home away from home. It's our. It feels like our home haunt. Mm -hmm. Even though... We've never worked there. We've never been involved there. It does kind of feel like that. It feels like home base. Scares. I also scored them a 19. Triple 19s tonight. The effort was solid. Four out of five points. The masks and makeup were pretty much what they do every year. With a few exceptions and improvements. Four. Phobias. Other than the spider and maybe clowns. I didn't see a lot of phobias. At least none that I really recognized. So I give them three points there. Hiding. A lot of hiding spots that I could see. But that's my own fault for looking for them. Jump scares. I have an asterisk here as well. Five out of five. The jump scares at Green Bay Fear are pretty good. Uh, it was enjoyable. I liked it. Scares were 19 out of 25. Solid. Actors. 13 out of 15 total points. <clears throat> Energy was five out of five. The scary was four out of five. <coughs> and the in character was four out of five as well. It's very weird standing face to face with a gigantic demonic rabbit. There's a feeling there. There's a weirdness, a creepness to it. It's very weird standing face to face with some big blocky dude in a silver suit who sniffs you and smells you. And then starts crying and wraps his arms around you. What a great... Uh, sorry, actor. That was a big risk for that actor to take. They must have known I would be okay with it. Because to my knowledge, you're not supposed to touch the customer. Ever. At all. And this dude just wrapped his arms around me. So that was a big risk for that actor to take. I remember I, hearing you. I easily could have shoved that person off and been like, don't fucking touch me. I remember hearing you. I didn't know you were supposed to touch me. It went okay. I'm like, I didn't know you were supposed <laughs> to touch me. But I'm like, that was cool. That was okay. Like, I get it. You were in character. It was good. I let it go. I don't care. And I'm not, this isn't like calling it out, exposing the actor. Oh, get rid of him. It was good. Like, it actually made me stop it. I was like, I didn't know you were allowed to do that. They let you, are you allowed to do that? Like, holy shit. It actually surprised me. 13 out of 15, the actors were solid on this night. The actors that we encountered were solid. MVAs, I have three. Lady at the fun house bringing people in, stayed in character the whole time. Never broke character, absolutely outstanding. Billy, a.k.a. Tater Tot, the hillbilly on the trail. I love you. You are outstanding. And the slicer dude from uh, the Bob scene that was diving in and out of all the holes and flipping around and spinning the sword around and trying to cut at us and stuff. It was good. I really liked it. It's a nice change. 
I uh, am used to walking past that scene where they're killing somebody and that's the last I see of it. And now this dude who just killed this other person is coming after me. I better get my ass moving. I like it. And then you guys chased me right into another scare. It was good. Yeah. Was it fun? Yes, it was. An additional 10 points. Um, 80 points out of 100. It's a good haunt. It's not okay. It's not great. It's good. It's good. I had fun. I plan to go back. And not review. But I plan to go back. Uh, my girlfriend still has to go. She still wants to go. Fortunately, she was not in a position to go. Go ahead and do your review gauge, and then we'll wrap things up at the end and talk about some cool things that we got to see tonight and some other stuff. Now that just being us, we can go ahead and shoot the shit after our reviews now, too. I like that. Yeah. Um, we, have an extra, so, we have an extra 10 minutes now that we don't have somebody else taking up a bunch of fucking time on our review. <laughs> Just gonna watch those sons of bitches. I, I, hate them. Them. I don't like them. Oh my, oh my god, I'm only here as a special guest. In every um, video starting ever. up, I really like yeah. how you said that Green Bay Fear has a certain um, uh, feeling when it comes to it, some atmosphere to it, because it really does feel like a home haunt for us, even though we never really have association with them, it's just something we started out with. So I just want to start, I want to note that. I really like how you said that. That kind of hit, that hit home. Um, so starting my review, scenery, I have 20. Uh, the aesthetics and the theme, they're, it's good. They, they keep to their theme, um, whether it be the uh, Manners family, um, the fun house, like a bunch of clowns. <laughs> and uh, like the little spider alley. Um, the aesthetic is always very aesthetically pleasing with all the different lights and stuff going on when it comes to the fun house and the different, um, uh, gore within the house itself. It really stands out props. I'll give it a three out of five and lighting a four out of five, along with a continuity of four out of five, giving me a total of 20. I want to bring up that the scenery is, is superb when it comes to a lot of the different, um uh colors going on with the just the changes they made with the um fun house <coughs> uh the trail i've noticed some changes some things did stay which is okay um i just i would like really like to see green bay fears house go through a little bit of a remodel um it kind of feels a lot like terror on the fox to where the the initial part of the house is almost identical to what it normally is uh, and the last part has changed up a little bit. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's not a bad walkthrough. I do enjoy my walkthrough. I would just like to see some changes come around sooner or later. Uh, but keep the keep the originals. Keep the intro room. Keep Mr. Nice Guy's hallway. Uh, keep some of the originals. I get that, and that's probably what they're doing. But there's too many originals. That's the problem. Um, I would like to see a few of them go. Uh, moving on, sounds. I have 19 out of 25. Uh, the volume theme I have at 4 out of 5. Um, after sounds, 3 out of 5. Uh, every time we're going through these haunts, I keep noticing how you, you always bring up. If you can say spell it, you shouldn't say it. It's not scary. It's not scary. Uh, there were some actors doing some of that. Well, and it's okay. But I would like to hear some, like, grotesque sound I've never heard of before and scare the shit out of me. Do you know why Bob is so scary? Because <laughs> I can't spell whatever the you, fuck you comes out of that voice box. You can't spell that that growling. <laughs> you can't spell that. Yeah. Mm -mm. And atmosphere. Again, you and I are on the same page. And I love how we gravitate towards the correct numbers because it is true five out of five the atmosphere is something else you already touched on it i'm not gonna hit i'm not gonna beat a dead horse about it i'm just saying i love its atmosphere sue freaking perb or shall i say shall i'm gonna say it justin i'm gonna say it 
phenomenal. All right, I, there should be a meme. Ta I want you every time. I want you to go back on our previous videos. Take a shot every time I say phenomenal. You're gonna fucking die. Um, moving on. He's not kidding. I'm not kidding. No, <laughs> I didn't realize until you brought it up. Now I'm self conscious <laughs> about it. Um, uh, where were we? So after sounds, we got scares. A 19 out of 25. I don't know how we're resonating the same wavelength here, Justin, but I do appreciate it. Effort, 4 out of 5. Mess and makeup, a 5 out of 5. There is always something to note when it comes to their mask and makeup because it is always great. I do enjoy looking at their faces. And this is a volunteer hunt, by the way. I just wanted to awkwardly pause after saying I enjoy looking at their faces. This is a volunteer haunt, by the way. Some of their costumes are top tier. Phobias, I have a two out of five. Yeah. It's, they really it's, work on phobia as much. But that's basic okay. bitch. It's basic, basic bitch, yeah. and it's okay. Yeah. It's okay, because maybe those phobias hit home with some people. If you want me to get a phobia, if you want a five on a phobia, I don't know why the hell you don't have someone with the same makeup, same look of that doll. You guys, Green Bay Fear, you know what I'm talking about. That fucking doll that scares me. That's just eerie as shit. If you get someone with that same makeup and you have that motherfucker jump out at me, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. I don't know why it hasn't been happening yet, but it should. And that will get you a solid five in phobias, because that is my phobias. I don't like dolls, because my stepfather chased me around with Chucky as a kid. I did not enjoy that. And dolls, I swear, should burn in hell. Uh, moving on. Jump scares. Five... Did I skip ahead? Hiding, I got a three out of five. I could always pick up when I can always catch them. And like I said, I, I, I'm looking for it. But I should be looking for it because that's my damn job. Um, jump scares, I got a five out of five. They scared me. They did. I can they count on your, they... one hand about three, four, four pushing it, but three <clears throat> times where I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. Like they, they, got they you a did times. it. Yeah. And it's a stupid as shit because I know it's happening. So I don't know why they got me, but they did. And uh, they did a great job. Actors, I got a 12 out of 15. Energy is there. It's the four out of five, brother. They, Hulk Hogan. I'm, I'm going to tell you something, brother. brother. I think about Hulk Hogan. I'm going to tell you something, brother. I, I love the actor's energy. It's something to be said about Green Bay Fear and their energy because it resonates with the haunt, and you can feel it as soon as you walk in. They love their job, even though they're volunteers. They love their job, and I love watching them do it. Uh, scary. I got a three out of five on that one. I know I, I that that kind of is counterintuitive to my jump scares rating, but I mean, well, when I actors think about scary, being scary and there being jump scares are two different things. Okay, because when I think about scary, I think about my hair raising on my like my arms, like eerie shit. Um, it's not really that eerie because I get more of a fun atmosphere when I go through it. It's still kind of eerie when I'm going through the fun house or when I got a bunch of fog in front of me. That freaks me the fuck out. Yeah, they got us with some good ones coming up out the fog, dude. They really did. Yeah. Um, and staying in character, I got a five out of five. Um, they, I would say they broke character when it was warranted, because we did we did kind of shoot the shit with some of them. We really did. Yeah, but, to, so, but to be fair, but think... to be fair, we encouraged that. We do encourage and, it. And we were, I mean, I don't encourage the actors to break character, but we encouraged, we kind of encouraged the discussion that was going on. So it isn't, it wouldn't be really fair for me to be like, oh, I encouraged this actor to talk to me about something. And then I was like, haha, I docked your whole haunt points because ah, you, bitch, had, got you. you had a conversation <laughs> with me. Like, that would be shitty. <laughs> One out of five. No, I'm just kidding. God, I love these drinks. Oh, it's leaking. Um, quick shout out, by the way. Quick Trip, sponsor us. Give me a limited lemonade strawberry freezies. I will love that. Please, Quick Trip. I know you don't watch our videos because it wouldn't make sense, but please sponsor us. Um, MVA has to go to the guy that jump scared me. And that actually made me go, oh, shit. I jumped back. I think your MVA, by the way, should be the animatronic of the window that they oh, That should be your MVA. I don't know why you didn't mention that because that was a crazy actor. Because I haven't um, gotten but... to it yet because you, you're still talking. 
Is that a bad or good thing? I feel like I'm doing a fine job. My MVA is a guy with the three pigtails in the funhouse. Dude, you scare the shit out of me. I, I, I was like, oh, shit. I, was, I almost started swinging, brother. Brother, let me tell you. And I want an honorable mention, though, here to Mr. Nice Guy. He has, I want to say congratulations to 20 years. Seriously, well, 20, 20 years 21 that, years, but we don't count 2021, sure. around that ballpark. I don't know how you do it, because I I have the attention span of a goldfish, and I can never stick with it. So, bro, I, I'm not, I, I feel brother. So let me tell you forward. something, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta stop saying that. Yep, Mr. Nice Guy, congratulations. And to to it, my conclusion here, I have an 80 as well, Justin. I, I don't think I need to figure out the average on this because it's pretty easy. What's 80 we both plus have 80, 80? 160 and then divided by 2 is... Okay, uh, with the 5. I have an 80 on this. It is a fun haunt. And I didn't it mention is. it, but yes, it was fun. Yeah. Go. You should go. If you're in the area, just go and have fun. And if you're coming from out of town, hit Green Bay Fear, hit Terry and the Fox, or hit Revenge and hit Green Bay Fear. You, you know, notice it's... how I keep Green Bay Fear in that category. Yeah, and it's so weird, dude, right? Because we were going through the house, and they had some good scares, you know, it was whatever. The trail got us a couple times, the goat guy, and uh, <clears throat> Bob. He got you. Couple, yeah, a couple of the other guys. It was good, right? Mm -hmm. And we get in the house, and I'm just like, okay, here we go. Same old shit. Yeah, right. Okay, electric room. <laughs> okay, girl screaming in my ear. Ugh, whatever. Dumb, 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 dumb. Oh, it's Mr. Nice Guy hallway. Here's a jump scare. Ah, yeah, I hate that guy. He's you know, the worst. Whatever, right? So we're going, you know, we're doing our thing. And we come to this hallway, and here's this little window. And you walk by, and I, <laughs> I see this light come up, and I go right to it and look in it as this fucking <laughs> animatronic slams right into it. And I go, wow, holy fuck. <laughs> and it was the dumbest. The dumbest jump scare and i actually <laughs> felt my heart like jump in my chest if, and i'm that is the biggest jump scare i've had in a while if and you it, want an idea of what it is it's literally just an animatronic going it literally just goes like, right. <laughs> but I, I forced you to look at it because i stopped in front of him Going up to the window, I'm like, "Look in there, Justin!" And as soon as you did, here's the light comes out. It slams with the it face. slams right <laughs> into my face, and I'm just like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> it was should be like because Mr. Nice Guy kind of pulled us behind the scenes and was showing us some stuff. I thought that was really cool that he did that, and I'm like sitting there telling him it was the stupidest scare. <laughs> and I, honest to God, almost made me piss my pants. It was so dumb. <laughs> it was, and it wasn't. And the second time we went through there, it didn't scare me at all. Yeah, I knew it was there, but like I just <laughs> sat there and I looked at it. I'm like, okay, do your thing. So it does the thing, and I'm like, that's not even scary. How did that make me jump? I think because as I was looking, it was <laughs> coming right into my face. You, that's what she said. I mean, it just came right in my face. <laughs> It just came right in my face, just everywhere. Like I was crazy. It was, it was so stupid. I'm just like, that's the kind. I mean, dude, that's the kind of shit I talk about, right? When I talk about Green Bay Fear, it's like, dude, you, you, you want to be like, oh, this isn't scary. Oh, Mister Nice Guy, same scare, for 21 years. Yeah, it's so dumb, you know. But this is like, it gets you, dude. I was, oh. I want to I want to mention something about that hallway. Green Bay Fear they did a great job hiding construction. I know they were working on that over the years. I mean, over the year of um uh the fro the the uh, dead of spring, whatever it is. Um, but what they did was they kept. I noticed how they do this. They've done this twice. They kept a room or a hallway pitch black for for one year. And then the next year, after they finished remodeling it, they then lit it up. So you would think, oh, it's just a dark room. That is smart. I don't know if that was intentional, but that is smart to like you can work on, you can literally work on rooms during haunt season by doing that. That is that is big brain. That is galaxy brain shit right there, brother. Ah, shit, I said it. 
Oh, God. But anyway, you're, you're, either, you're either the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, or you're Hulk Hogan. It was I don't a good even watch WWE. That's a, that's a funny it thing. It was a good show. Well, if you want to understand scare acting, you should. It was a good show. I enjoyed mm-hmm. my time there. We went through twice on Fast Pass in the same night. The actors care. They do. Mm-hmm. It's a volunteer haunt. And I go through this volunteer haunt in the heart of Green Bay. And I feel like it's got more character, more personality, and sometimes better scares than some of the big name corporate haunts. Did you really hear a couple saying they thought Terror on the Fox was scarier than Green Bay Fear? When you're in the bathroom. Yep. They're out of their fucking minds, dude. Green Bay Fear knocked Terror on the Fox off the fucking planet. I guess it's all just personal preference. Ah, but yes, no personal I always... preference. When you're wrong, you're wrong. <laughs> Terror on the Fox was not scary. Green Bay Fear killed it. It was awesome. But what boo, do we know? We're boo, just a bunch just, of glorified boo, Yelp reviewers. Boo, you know? Justin. Boo, I hate them Justin. fucking guys. Boo. I hate them fucking guys. They yeah. called out my insecurities. I'm trying to work on my damn haunt. <laughs> Shit. Like, <laughs> I hate them. Get them out of here. <laughs> There's merch links in the description below if Gage ever remembers to put them in. Be sure to follow us on Instagram. Oh, God. Yeah, do, do it. I, is it scary? We have been getting Wisconsin. followers oh, on God. is it sca- on Instagram. Social media. Oh my God. I gotta post our picture. Uh, follow us on there because he posts pictures and average review scores and oh Jesus. Christ. If you want a quick little review, just pull up our Instagram. Bam, you got it. So you don't want to watch an entire video. So like that's the, what you got. Like the video if you enjoyed. This honest Wisconsin Haunted House review, and make sure you're subscribed here so you never miss a video. Or Let's a make review. it a little ASMR outro here. I'm Justin with Is and It Scary Wisconsin, Junior, by my best friend. Gage from Is It Scary Wisconsin, and I have one question to ask you Is it scary, Wisconsin? I have to hit the button. Okay, do it.